Corey Schumann here with Gold Rush Expeditions. We're just showcasing some more of your federal tax dollars and how it's being spent to destroy what history is left out here. I'm out here at the Prodigal Mine today and you can see there's, yeah, there's some really bad stuff that's gone on here and it's basically on your dime with the Forest Service running rampant. You've got a big old tree here that's been chopped down, chopped into numerous pieces and then a lot of these pieces just kind of thrown down. What I've got down here is a lot of these pieces have been thrown down on the cabin. This cabin is a really old cabin. It's a historical cabin. The only person that's gonna come up here and restore this cabin is somebody that's probably like working their claim or doing something, but the Forest Service doesn't want you up here doing this. So what they've done is they've bulldozed, they've chopped, they've really, really done their best effort to destroy this and make this whole area just look horrible. There's trees kicked over left and right, we're gonna kind of walk around and I'm gonna show you what your forest service is doing to your public lands with your dime. So we're still out here at the prodigal site and we're showing you what the forest service is doing to mining sites, the disrespect, the destruction that is going on out here. This, as you can see, was a perfectly legitimate good road. It was a road that accessed the mine. If someone else did this, it would be a felony. But what you've had your forest service guys do is come up here, chop down trees, chop down everything. The big trees that have been here, I mean, look at this bad boy. This has been here for hundreds of years. They've chopped this, they've chopped this, and then they've just strewn this shit all over. This isn't gonna decompose into something beautiful. This isn't nature rehabilitated. This is garbage, this is destruction. This is complete disrespect for the whole reason that we are out here, and it's your forest service that's doing it to you. Colorado Forest Service, get your shit together. This is not what we want. This is a mining site. This should be saved and kept and let miners do their thing and continue to do their mining. Get rid of this anti-mining sentiment that you have. We're gonna keep going on because it gets worse. Here's our mine entrance. Now, notice the trees that have been cut and knocked over. So this one's been torn out of the ground. This one's been just pushed over with machinery. You can see the back of it has all been ground up where the uh, bark has been totally pulled off it. But the Forest Service, in their effort to reclaim this site, has just pulled trees over, knocked out your natural stuff, and tried to shroud over the entrance of the mine here. Is this gonna keep people from getting hurt? No. Is it going to draw more curiosity and give something for somebody to, you know, have a log fall on their head? Yeah, this is not good Forest Service, guys. They're taking away the right that you have to be out here. They, this is not the Forest Service's right. That's not the interest of reclamation. Your right is to be out here mining. This is what this is. Take note, this is a claim. This is a legal claim that gives the claimant full access to the minerals underground and above ground, under casual use, or as far as they wanna go. You don't have the right to take this away from the people. Take note, we're gonna keep going. Even if you are an environmentalist and you hate mining, this should piss you off because trees have been cut, torn down, chopped into little pieces, chopped into logs, and thrown all the way down on this road. This is not gonna decompose lightly. This is not gonna look natural. All this looks like is just complete garbage. There is trees cut down, knocked over. These trees were growing in the mine tailings. They were happy, it was natural. That's kind of the natural order of things. We don't need the Forest Service to come up here and do this. Forest Service, you don't have the right to close a road. You must provide reasonable access to these mining claims. We're gonna continue on. There's another mine up top here, and we're gonna show you what they've done to that as well. But you can see what they've tried to do to destroy not only the roads, but the history that is left up here. If you look at this on a map, it shows as a prospect. This is obviously not a prospect. This was a large, large working mine. This is more of your reclamation dollars. So Forest Service that did this, really? This is what you spend our money on destroying this? And the Colorado Division of Geology? You should be ashamed of yourself. If you guys were geologists and you had your shit together, like it says on here, Colorado Division of Geology and, hold on, let's, Let's see, just because we're looking at how safe you have made us here. We've got one of your uh, little markers, Colorado Division of Minerals and Geology. Tell me, Colorado Division of Minerals and Geology, how does this promote minerals and geology in your state? 
Is the large open hole that sloughed off, is that the promotion of minerals in geology? Because when I look just in the tailings, I see gold, I see visible gold. So that makes me wonder, are you guys too stupid to know what mining is? Or do you maybe need to take a step back and realize that this land is for all uses, mining and everything else. That is public use. What you've got here, these are dated, which is awesome. 2001 is when this work was done. 14 years, 14 years, and this is what your claim site looks like. Does it look natural? Because it doesn't look natural to me. What I've got is I've got a large gaping hole in here that used to be part of an attic. I've got the top of some wood structures here. This may have been an added entrance. I don't know, you did such a good job of destruction on it. But it was obviously bolted together and it was pretty damn sturdy because even after you bulldozed the shit out of this whole area, it's still intact. That's awesome. Thank you very much, BLM Forest Service, Colorado Division of Minerals and Geology for giving me some dirt and some awesomeness and promoting minerals and geology in Colorado. Very friendly to mining because grass is making a lot of money for your state. Let's move up. If I seem so agitated, I just cannot grasp what you people are doing. Colorado is one of the richest states for gold and silver. You've also got some of the richest history of people coming out here and working in some of the harshest conditions possible, making a living, doing the American way. So this is what you leave as a legacy for those people. If you want to spend some money on something, shore these up if they look ugly. Make them nice. Make them so that in the future you can develop these mines for people that actually want to work them and make some money. You know, living the American dream, that is what the American dream is. This is not the American dream. This is not condoned by anyone. Let's work a little farther up here. You can see what a great job they've done. So as I come up here, this gives me another indication of how big this mine is. There is part of a large barrel here. Well, it looks like a barrel. It's a big round thing. We'll get some video of it. Likely it was part of a support. What I can see, what I'm guessing, if I know my Forest Service guys like I do, is that this was probably really a fun job that they could go into the attic, place some explosives, and blow up what was left here. Why do I say that? Because I've got a hole here. I bet you I've got a mine support under here. I've got a hole here. I bet you I've got a mine support under here. I've got a hole here. I bet you there was a mine support under it. This is completely unnecessary and destructive and it's done with your money. And didn't you guys fund the Colorado Division of Minerals and Geology? How is this promoting your minerals and geology? It's not. Let's keep moving up here. You can see how natural this looks. This is 14 years old. This is 14 years after the fact of this reclamation. This is not reclamation, this is destruction. I guarantee you this site was a lot more beautiful when it was a mine and it was actually usable to the American people. You guys trying to destroy it and take it away from us? It's public lands, get used to it. Here's the rest of the mine as we go up here. Maybe the uh, Forest Service and the Colorado Division of Minerals and Geology can uh, explain to me the history of this site and maybe uh, what minerals were pulled out of this mine. It was a large mine. We know it was a large mine. It ran all the way down there. That's a good 200 feet. It comes up here. There's thousands of tons of tailings there. So do we just not care about the miner's history up here? Do we not care about the available minerals? Because I'm drawing a correlation to minerals and geology and mining. So I would think that as the Colorado Division of Minerals and Geology, you would want to preserve some of this. But what's going to be left to preserve? It's going to be miners and people that claim this site that are actually going to clean it up, make it usable, and make it a viable resource on their public lands. Because apparently you guys are unable to do it. This was done in 2001. 14 years ago, 14 years ago, you guys wrecked this total hell on this mine site, destroyed the history of what's left up here, kicked over trees, killed trees, killed all sorts of shit up here, 
got money for it, got paid for it, and this is what it looks like. This is horrible. This looks like crap. If this is the way you manage our forest, maybe we need somebody else to manage it. You see this back behind me? This all, the nice little grassy field and the road that runs through it, that's natural. That's what the miners left. This, this shit is what you guys left with your contractors and your rabid anti-mining crap. It needs to stop. You guys need to leave these sites alone. If you want a nice little grassy hill somewhere, find a grassy hill that pre-exists. Mining is part of our natural right. It's part of the, you know, it's in the 1872 mining laws, even in your 1976 smacker laws. It's part of our right. We can go underground. We can mine this land. You don't have the right to stop us. You don't have the right to destroy what is left out here. Beautiful job, guys. This is awesome. This should be your testament to your jobs that you are doing. Colorado Division of Min Minerals and Geology and the Forest Service out here. Well done. You have destroyed a large section of not only history, but of nature. Well done.